The Qtron Plus from Electro Harmonics is an envelope controlled filter. And one of the really unique things about this pedal is that it, it is dependent upon your personal playing dynamics. And that it's somewhat similar to a wah in the sound that it makes, but with its controls and with its abilities, it really far extends beyond that. As the note changes, meaning as your dynamics change, the peak of the filter is being affected by how you hit it, how hard you hit it with the dynamics. And it also has a built-in effects loop. And what this allows you to do is to bring in external pedals that will affect the filter section of the pedal. And this really just opens up uh, a pretty broad world of sonic possibilities. And we're going to step through and show you some of the controls. And then we're going to set up some different setups with the effects loop and really kind of see what the possibilities are with this pedal. Looking at the surface, you see three selectable filters. You have this low pass, this band pass, this high pass, and then a mix pass. And each of them is dedicated to their own frequency range. And over here, you're going to have a gain control, which acts as a sensitivity control. It means the more gain, the more sensitivity. You have a selectable boost control, which adds to the gain control for a more aggressive hit. And you also have a selectable response slow fast switch, a range switch, which goes from high to low. The peak control, now this is going to determine the resonant peak, or the, it's called the Q of the filter. And turning the control clockwise increases the Q, and that's going to create kind of a more dramatic effect. And uh, here you have the sweep switch, which changes the direction of the filter sweep. So the first sound we're going to check out is a kind of classic Qtron sound. Going through the settings, you see that we're at the band pass in the mode. We've set the response to fast. The sweep is in the up position. The range is set to low. Peak is set to about 3, gain set to about 9, and then we're not boosting. So here is just a sound you've heard before. This is a really full, really funky, it sounds great. <laughs> So on this sound, we've set the sweep to down. The filter's going down instead of up, so it's inverted. We've switched to a high-pass filter. The response is set to fast, and the range is set to low. So basically, it's kind of the opposite sound of what we just did, and let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> So what we've set up here is we're using the effects sends and returns of the Qtron Plus to add some effects in series with the filter section. And what this allows is your original dynamic will stay original and consistent while these pedals are affecting the filter. And it's, it's actually kind of easiest to just to hear it as opposed to me talking about it. So we have a micro metal muff going in and it's in series with the filter and it's going to sound a little something like this. You can really hear the filter opening and closing on the sound, but all the dynamics of my playing are remaining consistent. Which sounds kind of cool. And then to add a little more wackiness and craziness to it, we have the number one echo thrown in line. That is also right behind the micro muff, coming into the effects return and sends. So we'll set that up, we have the delay time on, we have the feedback, and you'll really hear the filter opening and closing on the delay as opposed to on my dynamics. So that's the Qtron Plus from Electro Harmonics. With all its varied controls and their interplay, it can really make a lot of sounds. And with the effects loop built in, it really kind of expands what you thought an envelope filter could be.